Welcome back to Bolt Action Bunker and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to make your own fence line. Okay this is a closer look at some of the fence line that we're going to make today. They're nice and easy to do they look really good on your tabletop and it's really so simple everyone about to follow along and make a really good effective fence line for your tabletop so as you can see the fence line looks really really effective and it is simple to make so we're going to need a few things that you're going to need to get hold of to make this fence line to start off with uh, you can buy all this stuff down at your local model shop or your hobby shop. So I bought a big bag of matchsticks. Okay, so these are all matchsticks from the hobby shop. That bag was £2.99 and you're going to make a lot of fence line with it um, and a lot of other stuff. The other thing that I like using is balsa wood. So this is a plank of balsa wood. Again, this is cheap. This is 2mm thick for this, this size. So these are going to be what we make the bases out of and I'll show you cutting that in a little bit and, and the size that I use. Uh, the other thing you're going to want is some glue, some wood glue. I use uh, the all purpose adhesive Yoohoo. Okay so it's nice and easy, that's the nice best, best glue that I've used for these really. So I'm going to show you making them, cutting them up, so let's get on. Okay first of all I'm going to mark the bolts of wood the length that I want, so I've got four panels on my matchsticks and that's 185mm for this, so I've marked 185mm across and I'm just going to cut that with my knife again balsa wood is really nice and simple to work with so you know a nice sharp knife and you're done okay so we'll just cut that away now with these so this is the balsa wood, you can see the balsa wood here on the back, I've not bothered to paint the backs. So these are 20mm deep, so these are 20mm deep. So I'm just going to cut the balsa wood, measure it up into 20mm sections. Now the planks come in 100mm sections, 100mm planks, sorry. So let's just mark that up with 20mm across there and let's get a few of these cut like I say this is a uh, 2 mil balsa you want for this it's about the right thickness I don't thought it doesn't seem to bow too much at 2 mil one more there okay so there are our bases to our fence line and we'll come back to those in a minute okay now the next step is to use the matchsticks so take some matchsticks out of your bag now for my fence line I have three rails are going across and one, two, three, four, and five uprights. Now the uprights are actually a half a matchstick tall. So you can cut your matchsticks down to make your uprights, and I leave them completely full length to make the rails go across. Now, if you don't like that style, you can change the style up how you want, but you know, like I say, this is nice and easy, and just quick and easy to follow along to. So I'm gonna try these first of all. So I'm going to cut these and start gluing them together and I'll show you the outcome in a minute. So <coughs> I've got three sections on. I'm just going to do the last section here. So I'm just going to show you how I do this. A uh, little bit of glue, it's a little bit messy. You should probably do this on a cutting board uh, because some of the glue does run through down and goes on your bench or your desk. Um, I'm lucky enough, I've just got a big sheet of plywood here. So I can just cut this off and replace it nice and easy, it's nothing special. 
they don't be doing this on your table. So, as you can see, I've just placed them in place. Um, you don't want them too uniform, so it doesn't matter if they look a little bit messy at this stage. And again, I'm a little bit fingers and thumbs. Let's stick this down, and that's the last one. And I'm just going to let that dry. So this is the close-up look. So as you can see, I've just glued them together. Cut matchsticks in half to make the uprights. Glued the bars in just straight across. It. And that just makes one panel. So that is going to make that panel like that, as you can see. So I'm going to let that dry. And then we move on. Okay, now our fence line is nearly dry. I'm going to glue it to the base. And again, I'm just going to take the uh, glue and put a line of glue just down the centre. You can be a little bit more precise with yours. And then put your fence line along the glue. And you're going to want something to hold that up for a bit. Just there. And that's that dry. Now while I was making that one with the four, I've made um, two here with just two sections. And I'm going to make a broken fence. So I'll do that. And again, nice and easy. Um, use your glue again. Glue this down, one either end, that's that one, and one the other end, just there. Okay. So now you can see I've got a big gate here. Um, you could make a gate, I'm just going to make that as a collapsed fence. So I'm going to let this dry and then we'll carry on in a minute. Okay now this is our fence line, it's nearly dry. So now I'm going to put some gravel on the floor just to sort of finish that floor section off. And I'm going to show you that. And then we'll move on. Okay, so now I'm going to gravel this section here. I've just got some PVA. If you water your PVA down, that's great, you do that. I don't when I do my bases. So I'm just going to put some PVA down on the top here. All round. Just make sure you get every bit. You don't want to be going back over again unless you can help it. And as you can see, these are quite quick. Get a little bit of a production line going. You can make plenty of these. And they're nice and simple to make. Okay, so that's the glue on. Now I've got some play pit sand and I've got a very small uh, gravel in here as well. So that just gives you a little bit of stone to go on there. And just pick this up, sprinkle it on. Just like that. There we go. 
and I'll let that one dry and I'll come back and hopefully we can put some paint on it. Okay this is just a close-up look of the fence and as you can see it's a bit all over the place but it doesn't matter that just adds to the realism of an old wooden fence. There we go so I'm going to put some paint on here and move on to the next step. Now it's nearly time to paint them so uh, this is going to be a burnt umber colour so I bought this in Wilco and um, this was about £1.50 I think on sale so it's really cheap you get a lot of it 200 mils burnt umber brown just water it down and I'm going to paint it on so I'm going to water some down and paint it on and I'll show you in a second okay so I've mixed my paint now this is just uh, acrylic paint and I'm just going to put this on again just water it down so you get the consistency you want and then put plenty on I'm going to go all around this Plenty just on here. I'm going to be doing the fence rails as well, but I might need both hands for that. Okay, so I'm going to finish this off and I'll show you the results. Okay, just a quick close-up look at this. It's just now all brown, the fence, the floor, everything. I'm going to let that dry. And with the next stage, we'll be doing a, a little bit of dry brushing on there. So, I'm going to let that dry. Okay, our fence line is uh, now dry. I think there's a little bit, there's still a little touch wet there. But uh, I'm going to just put a little bit of dry brushing on here, just to give you an idea what it's going to look like. I'm going to use just a pale sand for the dry brushing. Um, so just get a little bit of that on your brush and then dry it off. And then I'm just going to go over the fence with a dry brush, just like that. There we go. And the floor. Just to pick up them highlights on the fence. Okay, so now we've put a little highlight on, and like I say, you can go as heavy as you want, or as light as you want. There we go. So now I've done that. I'm going to put a bit of foliage on. So on this one, I've got like a small tree coming out of it. I've got some glass uh, grass dots. So static grass all glued down on dots. You can use some of those if you want. I've got a few different colours, different sizes in the grass. And I've also got my clump foliage. as well that you can use I'm just going to use some super glue to glue this on uh, super glue on and then stick 
that on the fence and I'm going to do that both sides so it looks like it's just growing through the fence There we go, and you can see it looks quite effective already. So I'm going to put on a grass tuft as well. They do come with a uh, sticky on, but I normally glue them as well. So I'll put one down there. I'll just use the end of a end of a paintbrush just to push them in place where you want them I'll put one more like that and up this corner and I'll put a little bit more of the clump foliage As you can see, it's quite effective. Nice and easy to do. And like I say, you get a bit of a production line going. It won't, won't take long before you've got some really good scenery. So, I hope you like this tutorial on making a fence line. Please leave a comment. There we go. That's our finished fence line. Like I say, nice and easy to make. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.